So the free tool that I will be sharing today is developed by Forest who made it easier for us to manage our devices to repair all kind of problem and even boost the performance. So basically you would be able to run the registry tweak, system tweak, the feature tweak, services tweak, remove all kind of bloatware, scan for malware and even give you amazing platform to run tons of useful software from one single place. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. All right, so you can bring up any of your favorite browser and then you will have to search only for repair kit. Just type repair kit, hit the enter key and you will be getting this GitHub page of Foulest repair kit all in one Java based. Click on it and here below you can find all the feature that this tool provide and then you can view a preview of this toolkit. And now in order to download what you will have to do from the right hand side under the releases, you will have to click on latest. Again, scroll down a bit and click repair kit 1.3.4.zip and this will be downloaded in a zip file. So open the downloaded folder, right click on it and click on extract all, click on extract. Once extracted, it will come up with another box here and you will find the application file here by the name repair kit and it's an application file. So just make a right click on it and click run as admin, click more info click run anyway click on yes all right so you will be getting this kind of dashboard of the repair kit by fallist automatic repair it says repair kit will automatically apply the registry tweak disable the telemetry optimize windows services remove the bloatware repair the disk issues and many more things automatic repair are recommended to be done once per month so after watching this video what you can do you can just come and open this repair kit tool and click on run automatic repair once or twice in a month. All right, and below it give you all the categories that what exactly it will be doing. Like deleting the system policies, run the registry tweak, run the system tweak. And in case if you want to know more about it, that what exactly it will be doing in the system policies in the registry tweak, then what do you need to do? The folder that you extracted of the repair kit, you need to go back there. And here you'll find the config folder, make a double click on it. And here it will list you all the information. So let's say if you want to know about the system policies, so what I can do, I can look here policies.json. And if I make a double click on it, open with the notepad, it will list you what exactly this will be doing. And similarly, like the registry tweak, if I open the registry one here, open with the notepad. So it will list you all the registry tweak that it will be applying. All kind of information are being listed in the JSON file here for whichever you want to know. Let's say if you want to know that what all the bloatware it will be removing, then you can open the bloatware one and it will give you the detailed information that what all the bloatware it will be removing. Like the Clipchamp, 3D Builder, Bing News, Bing Finance, Bing Weather, Copilot, Get Help, whichever has been installed. It will look for it and it will automatically remove it. All right. So this way you can find out that what exactly it will be doing. And once you are sure, now you can check all the items here, like remove the system tweak, run the feature tweak, run services tweak, remove the junk file, remove the bloatware, repair disk issues, scan for the malware, update outdated program. Once you have selected, now you will have to click on run automatic repair. At first, it will be creating a restore point for you so that in case if any of the tweak is not done properly or if you not like it, then you can easily revert the action. And this tweak basically doesn't take a long time. You will see that it has quickly created a restore point and it's automatically applying all the tweak over here. So just wait maximum for about a minute and all the work will be completed. And maybe in between you get any pop up here like update the outdated program and it says the following programs are outdated and it will ask you to update them. And this is one of the tweak that you can read here update outdated program. So you will have to click on yes here. And at the right hand corner, you can see it says repair kit updating program. And bingo, once it will be done, it says automatic repairs have been completed. Now, once you click on OK, at least you will have a peace of mind that it has automatically repaired many kind of issues that probably can be with your disk. You might have some kind of disk problem. 
you might have some kind of system policies like the uh, file explorer with the command prompt or maybe any other problem you might have the issues with the performance so after removing the junk file applying the services to it and removing the bloatware you might have the better performance now so now this time when i click on my windows icon here and click on all so you will find the bloatware like the clip jam microsoft to do microsoft news bing weather all these bloatware has been removed only the essential and the required application are only listed here so that's a good news so this is exactly what it include in the automatic repair now part of this another useful uh, tool is the useful program and if you click on it it will give you the list of an entire application that can be really useful for you for your windows 10 or windows 11 and even you will not have to download and install it you can quickly open with this single application only like the cpu z you just click on launch cpu z and cpu z application will be up displaying all the information about your processor about your motherboard your memory a very useful tool to find out many kind of deep information about the hardware next is the tree size auto run the process explorer everything mc soft scan a very useful tool and uh, whichever you want to use or you want to try just click on launch abisoft or that particular program that you want to bring up and it will quickly open up and you can see it's mc soft emergency kit and it will be quick scanning for any kind of malware or infection so without going and downloading and installing any kind of third party software third party anti-virus you can do all these kind of scanning and malware removal from one single application so click scan and clean go with a quick scan or the malware scan whichever you want to go and so like the mc soft scan you also have the Sophos scan very popular tool and if i click on launch here click on next now this will be scanning your computer for any kind of malware for any kind of trojan infection and if there are any inside your device it will detect it it will let you know you can easily remove it and make your computer neat and clean without paying any single penny for any third party antivirus all right so another amazing way that help you basically to run multiple kind of tool in order to uh, fix the problem remove the viruses manage your partition and many things next you have the system shortcut so basically it's a shortcut to open uh, your windows 10 or windows 11 applications like if you want to open the display setting you can click on open display setting and it will quickly bring up the display setting on your windows 11 or windows 10 now this is basically for the people who are not sure where exactly these locations are let's say if you want to manage the storage so instead of searching you can click on open storage settings and it will bring up the storage setting for you and so like you will be getting many other options like disk cleanup the sound setting windows update windows security ms config so i personally love this tool guys and it seems to be very useful to me that give me the automatic repair option and even the useful program feature that avail all kind of useful program for me and that's all guys for today hopefully you found the information the video useful this tool useful if yes please hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye